An Umbra governorship election is the most difficult election ever conducted in the history of the Independent National Electoral Commission. This is according to the chairman of the commission, uh, Mahmoud Yakubu. Professor Yakubu made the statement at a two-day interactive meeting for online publishers and media executives. He said a sit-at-home order on Mondays in Anambra State by IPUB affected preparation for the election. He added that the commission lost everything in Anambra State ahead of the election when the INEC office in Orca was raised in June. And as a result, all non-sensitive materials were got from neighboring states, Enugu and Imo states. Also, the Independent National Electoral Commission says it has mandated to only relate with all political parties and not factional groups in the country. The Your State Resident Electoral Commissioner, Motiu Agbuke, disclosed these at a meeting held with party stakeholders in Ibadan. Our correspondent, Olai Dewiyewole, reports. Representative of the chairman will talk. As the battle to occupy political positions in 2023 continues to get closer. Recent outburst of crisis within major political parties in different states have become a source of concern to the nation's election management body. This has consequently led to the controversies arising from parallel congresses being held in some state chapters of the major parties. INEC will relate with political parties, not factions, not group. We have laws, we have regulations guiding our relationship with our political parties. Anybody that violates or overrules these laws or regulations, you will not deal with, with, with such, a, such individuals or groups. And what we are saying is that if for the purpose of your Congress or primaries, you want us to validate what you are doing, it means that you must have been an authentic executive member in our record. As to the questions of direct or indirect primaries as the mode of selection of the candidate within parties, INEX says its duty will simply be to abide by the law. It is within the legislative powers to make laws. And whatever laws made by the lawmakers, INEC must abide, INEC must comply, INEC must follow. The issue about the direct primary or non-indirect primary, I will, my own candid opinion, either way, it's okay. Some political leaders in the state also promised their support in sensitizing residents of the state about the ongoing continuous voters registration. Yes, as I just said on the platform there, I'm going to start the campaign now. All the jingle from it, it, what the way we can be able to for easy access for them to know what they are saying. But it's our own responsibility to sensitize our people and the need for the need to be registered also. So it's been a a wonderful uh, process so far. Agboke disclosed that more than 700,000 permanent voter cards remained to be collected out of the more than 2 million registered voters in the state. Olaidio Yowale, TVC News.